Hello, good evening. It's Tuesday. It's three minutes past nine. I'm Elaine Lamb and I'm very excited tonight because I'm doing my very, very first live interview with uh, Jean-Marc and Francis from uh, the band Sonic Winter. And uh, in August, they're going to come into the studio as well. Tonight is just a phone interview. But, oh, ladies, oh, <laughs> are you in for a treat? Because Jean-Marc has got the most amazing accent. Well, that was autograph and turn up the radio. And we've got 15 minutes and counting to the interview with Jean-Marc and Francis. I hope I said that right. Um, now, you've heard me play some of the tracks from the album um, by Sonic Winter. They're based in Glasgow, um, but they're a French, Brazilian black... Blah, 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 blah. See, I'm getting all tongue-tied. That's excitement. <laughs> oh, I told you, ladies. Oh, wow, what a voice he's got. Um, <laughs> Jean-Marc, you made me all go weak at the knees and we're not talking yet. Um, yeah, so the interview will be in about 15 minutes. So pull up a chair, get your tea or your wee drum or whiskey or whatever and get ready for the voice. <laughs> yes. I think we're going to go now with um, Enter Sandman and Metallica. Well, that was Nonpoint and Bullet with a name on it. Um, and on the phone line we have Jean-Marc. Hello, Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Oh, didn't I tell you, ladies? <laughs> mm. Oh, I've, I've gone all hot. <laughs> um, right, Jean-Marc, um, I believe that Fran Francis... Yes, Francis is uh, with me also, so he can say hello also, if you want. Yes, that would be good. Hello, Francis. Hello, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Um, now, who am I going to speak to first about the album? And Yes, I think you should probably speak to uh, Jean-Marc. Okay. Jean-Marc, over here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, he's very shy. He's very shy. Uh, he's young. It's why. Well, you're you're only young as well, going by your photograph on uh, Facebook. Oh yes, almost <laughs> uh, half a century. So half a century. Yes, wow. almost. Oh goodness me, you look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. Tell me about the album Sonic Winter. Okay, so the album uh, Magical Silver Bullets and uh, Hellbird Songs um, has been released in uh, March, uh, and it's a collaboration uh, with a French uh, record label and uh, uh, Sonic uh, Winter Music, and uh, it's uh, 20 tracks. Uh, 14 musicians uh, have been uh, involved in a in a in a project because actually Sonic Winter uh, it's a two piece band so uh, it's uh, Francis and uh, myself in uh, in Glasgow and uh, the rest um, of the musicians are guests and uh, friends of us uh, from France uh, Sweden and Brazil and it's uh, mainly uh, 70s uh, prog rock alternative uh, psyche pop uh, music <laughs> and I was very lucky enough for you to send me one of your albums and it's signed as well yes <laughs> <laughs> and I do play it loud to make you proud I promise ah, you ah that's fine that's perfect <laughs> now tell me about the cover because I, I love the lady on the front she's very beautiful who is she Oh, the cover, it's a friend of us, uh, uh, she's from uh, Poland, and uh, she's uh, working as a model for uh, Vogue, and uh, so I'm, as I'm also a photographer, uh, one day she sent me, uh, she sent me uh, this uh, pictures, and I thought it was uh, really the, the, the photo for the, for the cover of the album, so I, I just had to contact the photographer. Uh, to see if it was all right to uh, use it, and uh, this girl, is, the photographer, is also uh, Polish. Uh, it's uh, it's a girl, and she told me she said, "Well, if I like the music, you will not have to pay it for. But if I don't like it, maybe you will have to pay uh, 
to pay some money and uh, obviously we didn't pay anything so <laughs> so it was cool and uh, after we we became friends and uh, we hope to to go over to to Poland also to when we are um, a steady lineup uh, to be able to uh, to perform and uh, to thank them for their uh, collaboration and I believe you're actually looking for a steady lineup now. Um, yes. And you've actually got your new album sort of in the wheels of progress at the moment. Yes, because with uh, <coughs> with this uh, with this uh, record label in France, uh, we we secured uh, two albums. The the, the project wa- was two albums. So uh, right now the first album it's uh, a lot uh, about uh, promotions and uh, putting the album in on a record store and everything. But at the same time, so, so uh, we are already on a, on a way to record uh, new new tracks. So there is uh, I think already uh, 14 tracks uh, in a wire. <laughs> Also. And you've also put some of the new tracks on YouTube, I believe. Yes, uh, four, uh, four tracks. Uh, there is uh, one called uh, I Lose Control, which is a, a collaboration with an Italian DJ. So it's a big mix between electro music and uh, AV uh, Drop D uh, riff guitar. And uh, Francis is uh, singing on it, and he, it's him who made the the lyrics and the the song and the DJ provide us the the music. Um, we have another song called Defender, also. Uh, so it's a, it's a quite of a electro dark ambient uh, song, and uh, we have two more uh, rock, uh, two other songs who are more uh, rock. Like uh, there is one called uh, Rocking Machine. Uh, and another one called uh, Saturday on Earth. And I have to tell you, I went across and I had a wee listen when you posted in the Sonic uh, Winter Group, and uh, I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, be- be- because we put online uh, what is uh, the, the mix for now, but uh, maybe uh, maybe the mix uh, of the songs uh, will. Uh, uh, we will change a bit uh, later on so um, so but uh, you, you can get already the, the first uh, the first idea and uh, we are working also on a 20 minutes track also a 20 minute track <laughs> yes it's wow. a very long uh, prog rock uh, track uh, a bit like uh, your hip your hip uh, did uh, in the 70s with the song uh, Salisbury mm-hmm. in 72 and it's a collaboration with some uh, classical musicians from Georgia nearby uh, Russia because uh, I went uh, two years ago over to Georgia for a, a photo exhibition and I met some uh, fantastic uh, classical players also and uh, another bass player from France uh, and uh, maybe some uh, one of my best friends from Sweden on um, on uh, harmonica, and uh, maybe um, the lyrics will be in Swedish. And maybe your son on bass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you see, I remembered. <clears throat> now, tell us about you jetting off to promote the album, aren't you? Where are you going? Okay, so I'm uh, going to spend uh, one month uh, in the uh, U.S. So, uh, so beginning of July, I will uh, land in uh, New York City, uh, where I have a few contact with uh, some uh, radio DGs and uh, some uh, other uh, people actually who, who bought the album. So, um, so it's in a process uh, to to get a kind of uh, night event uh, in a bar or in a club, something like that, to do a CD signing and maybe to do some uh, kind of uh, showcase. And uh, after, it's going to be uh, Chicago also with another radio and another DJ. And uh, if everything goes fine, uh, we got plenty of uh, radio, airplay, and uh, fans in uh, Texas also. So, 
so it's uh, just like uh, a big adventure to see uh, uh, what will uh, come, what will come up from uh, from all those uh, all this uh, contact we got uh, from fans uh, in uh, in the US. I am sure the US are going to love you, especially especially if you wear the Stetson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I do look at your page. <laughs> yes, I, I can see you have done your homework. Oh, I have, huh? especially after our conversation last night. One hour passed like five minutes, ladies, I have uh, to tell so you. It means that it was good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Um, where do your influences for your music come from? Um, mainly our influences, are, it's a quite of combination, huh? because uh, my friend Francis he, he, uh, is coming from the, the jazz uh, music world and the electro music world, uh, and I'm uh, much more uh, about uh, blues and um, heavy and uh, prog rock uh, music. So mainly for Francis, um, for the jazz, He's a big fan of uh, Chick Corea, and uh, also for the electronic music, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre, uh, Kraftwerk, and uh, French bands like Air, or uh, Daft Punk, or Justice, or um, uh, people like that. And uh, f for me, it's, uh, uh, to make it short, uh, there is four bands I'm really a uh, fan to death, uh, so it's uh, Uraip first band for me, uh, Black Sabbath, uh, Jimi Hendrix, and Deep Purple. Oh. And, and uh, fifth, I think it's uh, Led Zeppelin. Oh, four of, four of my favourite bands there, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play now uh, Miles Away, which I believe was the first uh, track that you wrote. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what influenced you to write this track. Oh, okay, so uh, My The Way uh, is talking about the hobo uh, in, uh, in America, and especially it's, it's a song about uh, traveling and uh, people who are just uh, going from place to place with uh, no really uh, any point uh, uh, in, their, uh, in their life, so, uh, so it's, uh, it's a traveling song. Um, Okay, so I'm going to put you on hold again now because I'm not quite sure how to do this without putting you on hold. Okay, okay <laughs> so, that's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've still got my L plates on, you see. Uh, okay. And I, I just want to say thank you to Laura because she sh rushed in this evening to show me how to do the telephone interview. Okay, you can send um, a big kiss from us. Wow. Oh, I, I think I think when she listens to the interview back, I think she will sort of go weak at the knees as well. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, so cool. now that you've said a big kiss as well, oh, goodness me, I, w I won't be able to do my show tomorrow. Uh, the so, magic of uh, internet and the web. and uh, <laughs> That's correct. And you are going to come into the studio, aren't you, round about August? But we, we, we hope so. We hope so because uh, we are going to perform in, uh, in Glasgow for the 21st of June, mm -hmm. which is uh, in France uh, the, the Music Day. So, so we are going to perform in a, in a French uh, restaurant. Um, uh, it's like a blues a jam session. So actually we rehearsed this afternoon to put all our songs in a kind of a blues uh, way and uh, Francis is going to play also some uh, jazz and uh, we are going to invite our friends to uh, just uh, jump in uh, with their instrument and uh, it's going to be like a, a big family uh, reunion well, on the 21st of June. That sounds very good. Mm, yes. Uh, maybe I'll get an invite as well. Yes, but come, uh, come along. <laughs> it's going to be uh, some champagne, Jack Daniels, uh, some good French food, I think, so, well, yeah, just cool. <laughs> and tell, tell us the name of the restaurant. If, if Can people just go along without an invite, or is it invitation only? No, no, they just, they just can uh, come along. Uh, we, we put uh, an event on Facebook, uh, so if people go on, on to our Sonic Winter page, uh, they see the event and they just uh, click on it and uh, they say that they are going. Uh, we are playing uh, right now from 3 o'clock to 7, but maybe it's going to be uh, 
longer because uh, we don't know uh, how it's going uh, uh, to be. So the name of the restaurant, it's uh, Le Bistro Beaumartin. It's in Hope Street nearby Central Station. And you, there is also the map on the event. Uh, you read my mind because I was going to say some people who listen in don't have the internet. And I was going to say, let's tell them where the restaurant is. Yes, it's a 161 uh, Hope Street. 161 Hope Street yes, so in Glasgow. In Glasgow, so just from Central Station. Uh, it's like a two minutes walk uh, from Central Station or uh, Queen Street Station, uh, two minutes walk. And that's going to be a fantastic evening. Yes, it will. <laughs> right, OK, I'm going to put you on hold, so don't go away, because I want you to talk about your next track that I'm going to play. So we're going to go now with Miles Away. OK. <laughs> fader up again. Jean-Marc, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I, I just love that one. I get carried away and I have to tell you, I am sort of moving all over in my chair. So, Gordon, when you sit in the chair after me, I didn't break it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, we're going to go with uh, track four. Oh, sorry, that's the CD opening and 
uh, closing. Uh, we're going to go now with track four, which is 11th of June, 1963. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that track. Okay, so the, the track is uh, an inst- instrumental uh, track, and uh, well, obviously it talks uh, about the civil rights uh, in America. And especially, well, in, a, in a track, you will be uh, able to uh, hear the speech of uh, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, uh, which he did uh, the 11th June of 1963 about the human rights and uh, equality in, um, in America. And uh, it has been mainly recorded uh, live in uh, one take. And uh, we just had a few uh, overdub uh, on it, but uh, it has just been played the, the way it has been recorded uh, the, the first time we, we played it in a recording studio. So, so we just kept it uh, like that, uh, very uh, raw. <laughs> it's, it was very strange, because when I first spoke to you, I said, which two tracks would you like me to play? And um, you chose the same two that I would have chosen because they're my two favourite tracks on the album. Uh, I just love all of them, but um, Miles Away and this next one are my two favourites. Well, but it's, uh, you, you have a very good taste. <laughs> oh, I, I think I do. <laughs> but, uh, it's also, I think, uh, what uh, represents uh, most uh, Sonic Winter uh, when we are not uh, uh, doing uh, songs with uh, vocals, because we, we, we love to do instrumentals also mm-hmm. and uh, today it's not very trendy uh, to, to do instrumentals but uh, 11 June 1963 uh, really represents Sonny Quinter in the, on the instrumental side of, uh, of Sonny Quinter well I just love instrumentals um, and I, I actually have to say I think the shadows have got competition now for me <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye to you now and uh, I'm really sorry that I didn't get to speak to uh, Francis. Well, you can speak a bit uh, with Francis if you I, want. I, I think he should. Yes, yes, okay. So I pass you on uh, Francis <laughs> and uh, thanks a lot for, uh, for tonight. It's, uh, it's very cool and I uh, hope to see you the 21st of June. Oh, that, would, uh, in that, Glasgow. That, that date is going in my diary. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I pass you on, um, uh, Francis. So a uh, big kiss from me from uh, Glasgow. <laughs> oh, thank you. And a big kiss back from me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jean-Marc. Hello. Hello, Francis. Hello. Are, are you really shy? No, actually, it's just that we just have one phone, and uh, so we don't have any speakers. So, uh, but I was just listening, so I was uh, I was here all the time. Okay. So, I see. Yes. <laughs> you you didn't sneak away. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh. Now, t- tell me a little bit about yourself. What got you into music? Uh, well, I started uh, music. I think when I was uh, about um, eight, eight years old. Um, so I was very much into uh, electronic music. Uh, as uh, Jean-Marc said, uh, my first influence was, you know, electronic music like Jean-Michel Jarre, uh, Kraftwerk. And so, you know, right, right from the start, I was very much into this kind of music. Uh, I was not really into rock myself when, well, when I met Jean-Marc and he sort of converted me to this, uh, to this type of music. Yeah, <laughs> so he's, uh, yeah, so he sort of um, converted, you know, and changed my you know, all my influences in one way. But in fact, it was very interesting to see that, you know, even though we came from different musical universes, we're able to find some common, you know, denominators because all his influences are from, you know, the 70s, mm-hmm. which are back in the days when, you know, you could make music and people were not really afraid to blend, you know, different musical universes together. Whereas nowadays, you know, if you, if you play rock, you're, sort of, you're supposed to play rock like in one particular way if you if you play electronic music you're supposed to play you know in another way but you know so we come from you know the the same musical universes that you know people were able to mix different genres together without being afraid you know to 
to go in different directions. Well, I think that's what music should all be about. And um, in the CD that Jean-Marc sent to me, um, it actually tells us a little bit about um, the different musical universes coming together and everything. Um, and I really, really do like this album, and I want to thank you both so much for sending that to me and also for signing it. Uh, it's something I shall treasure. Wow. Well, thank you very <laughs> much for, for playing our music, and we're glad that you liked it. And so. I, I really do hope that uh, one day you can come into the studio, because it's big enough for the two of you to play your guitars and uh, keyboard and play something live for our listeners. Well, that, that would be great. I've never been to Auburn, actually, so... Well, I've, e I've even had a word with the midges, tell Jean-Marc, so they won't be here when he comes. Um, I beg your pardon? <laughs> uh, last night we were talking about the midges up here in oh, the right. islands, <laughs> um, and he's like myself, he's allergic to them, so I, I've had a word with them, and they're all going to disappear from Auburn the night that you come. Well, that's, that's perfect then. That's perfect. <laughs> right, so I'm going to say goodbye to you both now, sadly. Um, All right. And we're going to go now with 11th of June. So have a wonderful time while you're in America. I think, is it both of you who are going or just Jean-Marc? No, so it's just Jean-Marc uh, who's going on holiday and I'm, I'm staying here under the, the sunshine of Glasgow. Well, we're going to get a mini heat wave. Well, that's that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're staying in the best place because summer's just around the corner. Yes, well, Glasgow is the best place. Anyway. Uh, I I think it's the best place after Glencoe. <laughs> yes, I'm <of> biased. <laughs> <laughs> it has been so nice to talk to you, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Well, thank you very much. It was nice to talk to you as well. And sorry if I appear to be shy. It's just that I was, I was really next next to you, so I was uh, listening to everything that you, you guys were talking about. That's good. Okay, you both take care and uh, hope to speak to you. So, ooh, I'm getting all tongue tied. You say, hope to speak to you both again soon. So here we go with 11th of June, 1963. All right, thank you.